Integrated Math 3 practice test for T and ready. Question number five, at least on this version. If the denominator does not equal zero, which expression is equivalent to the quantity x squared minus 4x minus 5 over the quantity x squared minus 9x plus 20? Now, what's with the whole not equal to zero thing? Well, you can't have a fraction with zero as a denominator because how do you break something into zero groups? It's like a logical error that you can't have, so you can't have any sort of x value that makes the denominator of the fraction, in this sense, zero. That's called an exemption in the domain or exception in the domain. Um, so just be aware that they're telling you this bottom part can't be zero. So what are we going to do? This seems like they've been factored out, doesn't it? So let's just factor them out. So you may have noticed a time shift there, and these things popped up. So what's going on there? That's me using the x method to factor them out. I took the leading coefficient 1 and put it here, and then I took the constant term and put it here. I need to find a combination of the multiples of this that can give me this negative 4, right? That's my ultimate goal. So I tried some things, and then, then I'm thinking, well, that doesn't work. So I'm trying to make 5, right? So how can I get there? Well, 1 and 5 are the only numbers. So instead, I think, okay, so if this has to be negative, one of those two has to be negative. So I could either have negative 5 plus 1, or I could have 5 minus 1. This one ends up giving me negative 4, and this one ends up giving me positive 4. And since I want negative 4, this is the one I'm going to go with. So I'm going to take negative 5 up here and 1 down here. So perfect, right? For the other one, I'm trying to make positive 20, and I want factors that give me negative 9. So I'm going to look at the factors of 20. 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5, and that's pretty much all I need to worry about because I know 4 and 5 equal 9. But you say, it's negative 9. How will I get there? Well, in order to make positive 20, there's two ways I can multiply 4 and 5. 4 times 5 gives me 20, but also, since a negative times a negative is a positive, I can also get positive 20. So I'm going to use negative 4 and negative 5. Now I can start to do my little factoroo. Get those out of there. So x minus 5 and x plus 1. I get the minus 5 from here, the plus 1 from here. Uh, and if you want to, you can go backwards and rework them out to make sure it's correct. So you get x squared minus 5x plus 1x and then minus 5. And negative 5x plus 1x is negative 4x, so there you go. For the other one, x minus 4 and x minus 5. Now, we've had them factored out. That looks great. Everything's moving right along nicely. What you have to know is if I wanted to do this, there's a couple ways I could do it. 5 times 3 is, of course, 15. And divided by 3 gives me 5. Or, since 3 divided by 3 is 1, I could cancel these and just end up with the 5 earlier. What I'm looking to do here is find terms that are exactly the same, which means they have to have the same um, signs and all that has to be the same. But x minus 5 works great there. x minus 5 works great there. x plus 1 over x minus 4. You've probably done about a million practice problems where you did factoring. So this one really isn't that hard. The coefficient is just one. Uh, by the way, my answer for this one is C. Make sure you don't fall into the trap of thinking, well, I totally have this. It'll be fine. And then you do all this work for it, and you end up doing something silly like picking A because the numbers look the same. They're all the same that I mean, it's x and 1 on top and x and 4 on the bottom. It just depends on what sign are on the constant terms, or if they're minus or plus, or addition or subtraction, I guess. So be prepared to write all this stuff down so that you can see it, and then you can get the correct answer. This is not a super difficult problem, but it is a really easy problem to miss if you make a careless mistake. And that's what they're trying to get you to do, miss easy problems so when the hard ones come up, uh, you, they can get you there too.